In this video, we are going to create a title screen. So the first thing I'm going to do, and this is very good advice, is um, give your project a name. So I'm going to call it my maze game, shockingly enough. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go file and save now. Um, so we've, we've saved what we've done so far, which is pretty much nothing. Um, next, I'm going to get rid of that cat. Um, goodbye cat. And then I've just got absolutely blank there, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to make the title screen. So the first thing we want to do is create a backdrop. Um, well, we've already got a backdrop one, but we're going to use a paint bucket tool and give it whatever color you want for the background. I'm going to go for a light blue type color, and then I'm going to add some text in as well. Um, now this generally you would think would be the name of your game, I'll select a colour for it first, it would be the name of your game, um, I'm just going to type in very, oh I've gone off there now, uh, I'm going to type in very unoriginally my maze game, however if you have a title uh, now would be the time to t type in. I'm going to move it into a roundabout center to make it look quite nice. Now, next, I'm going to go to, let me think, what am I going to go to? Uh, might as well click on scripts, and then I'm going to add a new sprite. Now, I'm not going to change one or choose one from the library. I'm going to paint a new sprite, okay? Now, I'm going to, and again, you can use your own artistic flair for this, but I'm going to draw a simple box like so. And then I'm going to add some text to say, start new game. Which is one of the cornerstones of a title screen. Um, you should generally always have a start game button somewhere along there. And there we go. I've got my start new game. And I think if I add a new sprite, or in fact, actually, I can move this one around a little bit. Uh, position it wherever you want it to be. Again, in the middle or roundabouts in the middle would be very nice. And I'm going to make a new sprite again. So I've got that sprite, make a new one. Uh, same technique as previously. And I'm also going to have an instructions button as well. So instructions just like that again if I click out of the text there because I can't really move it now if I click out then it gives you the option to move it around make it in the middle but again your buttons your choice though um, and then I'm gonna move this to round about there so I've got start new game and instructions if you want to put images in the background feel free to um, if you want fancier buttons than that um, good on you um, feel free to have them also okay so now what I would like to do with this is I've got one background so far. Now I'd like to click on there, and it's a great idea, um, it's better than a great idea to be naming your backdrops. So this one will be title screen, very sensibly named there, title screen. So I know what that is now, it's my title screen. Um, so now what's going to happen is on the scripts for this, I'm gonna say, events when the green flag is clicked we want to look switch to backdrop backdrop sorry title screen so when we start the actual program uh, when you press this green flag it's going to always go to the title screen okay now what i would like to have as well is i think actually i think that's it for this video uh, the next one is going to be to make the instruction screen and then we're going to put a bit more interactivity as well um, that's it for this video then thank you for watching